Here we have our close quarters dimple die set, which comes with two different types of mandrels, a copper mandrel that fits the hole in the dies and in the skin very closely, and a steel mandrel, which has higher tensile strength. So we always start with the copper mandrel, which allows us to um, get everything lined up really well. So you put the female die down on top of the copper mandrel and then insert it through the hole from the back side. The mandrel can be trimmed if needed or slightly bent in a curve if you need that to get into a really tight area. So here on the outside we're going to put on the male side of the die, obviously the, the male uh, funnel down. And then just take your normal popper puller, slide over the mandrel up to the back. And then we're going to pull just a little bit until the side of the die mates with the skin and no more than that. You're going to want to keep doing it, but it's going to break that copper mandrel. So let loose, take it apart, and then we'll go to the steel. So same procedure, you take the steel mandrel, which is just a nail, you can get them at the hardware store for replacements, uh, drop the female over it, and this one will be a little loose, but now that you have the funnel in the aluminum, it'll line itself back up. So again, put it through the back side of your work. In that area, you just can't get the C-frame in, and you can't get the squeezer yoke in. Put the male on the outside. Keep it as tight as you can while you pull her on there. And then this one you can give a little more pressure to, and you'll see right around the outside edge of the die, you'll see it go back to being flat again when, you're, when you almost got it. It doesn't give quite as good of a, die, uh, of a dimple as the standard dimple dies, but it's certainly acceptable for those tight places.